hello again youtube this is david mechanic back with another video today i am changing an alternator on a 2007 lexus ls 460 all right we're going to start by clearing this engine bay so we're going to remove all this top covering especially this one for the battery there's a couple of tabs there's already something missing i'm going to remove these tabs there's a bunch of little tabs here if you have a tool like this or a flathead screwdriver you should better get in or underneath and pull them up i'm going to do the same thing all around and as for this middle piece uh, you should be able to just pull straight up on the sides as well and with that should be able to get that middle piece up so i'm going to go ahead and finish popping off all the outside pieces we're going to leave this side on for now unless proven otherwise there's two 10 millimeter bolts to get this part of the intake off go ahead and remove those once you remove these two 10 millimeter bolts all you have to do is pull up on this lower right here on the other corner. Squeeze and pull. And then same thing on the other side. Already did the other side. And this will come right off. Alright, let's go ahead and disconnect this negative terminal on this battery. Now let's go ahead and drain this coolant. There's a drain on the bottom right here. Get your container. Now I'm going to use the pliers and turn counterclockwise. That will break the seal. And I can go ahead and start to unthread that. And there we go. And now our coolant is draining. Once your coolant is drained, we can go ahead and remove this hose clamp here. And there's a hose clamp right down here. You can remove those and two 10 millimeter bolts. And we should be able to remove this reservoir. All right, now we have plenty more space here. And since uh, we're already drained the coolant, we might well remove this this uh, lower radiator hose at least on this end and we can move it out of the way all right so i removed the uh the upper part of the lower hose and i just tucked it underneath this line here the transmission line and now i have clear access to the alternator all right so now we need to remove the belt and you can see the tensioner is right here so we're gonna get a, this looks like a 14 millimeter, um, and then put put a socket on there, and we're gonna turn counterclockwise. It's gonna lower, and we'll pull that belt right off. So this is my particular setup. I have a breaker bar with a short extension and a 14 millimeter deep socket. You can do any different combination you want. A regular 14 millimeter socket with a longer extension um, with with the regular ratchet if you want to it's not that hard to move just turn this counterclockwise and then you'll be able to slip that belt right off all right now we have our battery already disconnected what we're gonna do is we're going to take off our uh, hot wire from the alternator which is a it looks from here like maybe an 11 or 12 millimeter bolt um i had to peel back this rubber cover right here and that exposes the bolt so and the reason why we have to get that off first is that cable is blocking the two upper bolts that we need to remove from our Now that I have that hot wire removed, I'm able to move this cable out of the way and I can get to my two top bolts. There is one here and 
a couple of inches straight back maybe about three inches straight back there's another one you can see it right there and it's the same exact style on the bottom except there are bolts there's there's a bolt almost exactly on the same position here on, on the bottom and a one about three inches away from that one on the bottom as well and they're all 14 millimeter we're gonna go ahead and get those four bolts out now there's also a ground wire here you can see it runs from here to here it looks to be about a 12 millimeter and yep it is so we're going to go ahead and remove that ground wire as well all right this bottom plate here there's four 10 millimeter bolts running to the front and then there's one in the back here and one on the other side we're going to get this plate removed if you can't reach the bottom bolts from the top once you have all the covers from the bottom removed the two bottom bolts can easily be seen here and here so you can remove those from the bottom all right once you have the two top nuts off and the two bottom bolts won't actually come all the way out they're too long you just want to get them loose and unthreaded then you should be able to slide the alternator all the way over and eventually you should be able to work your way out i'm going to need two hands to get this out all right once you're able to slide it forward there's a protective boot on this plug you pull that up you push this clip in and you unhook that you should be able to get the harness off now the alternator is pretty much out and loose the next trip is to get it up through here this piece of pipe right here can be tricky if you can't finagle it out you can um you have to remove this part here which is just a uh, either you can use Phillips hand or a 10 millimeter um bolt I mean, socket you can get these two hose clamps to loosen and you squeeze these two basically clamps to get to get these rubber pieces off and then there's a hose clamp here uh, another 10 millimeter to get it off the throttle body and once you get those off you should be able to pull it back on the throttle body and pull it straight up there's a piece down here that is basically sitting inside of you just pull that up out of there and this whole part should be removed uh, even without pulling that up you should be able to get it off the throttle body and slide to the left or to the right and you might have enough space to get that alternator up and out all right and uh putting it back together is basically the same thing in reverse you're going to put the new alternator in there get the uh four bolts back in well um well plug it up plug it in first get the four bolts back in um then get your hot wire back on there you know um the ground wire that you took off Put your belt back on put all your your breathing tubes back on all your panels anything else that you that you on that you untook unclipped and connect your battery and you should be good to go all right youtube that is how you change an alternator in a 2007 lexus ls 460 if you liked the video you thought it was helpful be sure to hit the like subscribe button also if you feel this video saved you some money don't be afraid to leave a little tip in the cash app the more reactions and support that i receive is the more content that i'll make